What a powerhouse. I love this thing. Man, I wish I could install this in my bedroom, but I don't know if the box is gonna be strong enough though. But this thing is not playing around. And let me turn the light off. Bought it off a of Facebook Marketplace for, I want to say, $40, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah. I think this fan might have been painted, because if you look, I'm not sure what the original finish would have been if it was, if it was brown. And, like, the motor part of it. The motor itself is black on top, actually. A little hard to see, but all up here is black, and the face, pl and you'll see the switch housing is black as well. And this looks to be painted gold. I'm not 100% sure though. This thing's probably from, I want to say 1981. I want to say it's from 1981, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to run it one more time, just because I can. And what a breeze it puts out. Yeah. You know, $40. I could not beat that price. There's a little bit of a wobble, but I can't complain about that. Alright. And I have the box for the blades, actually. The box is over. Here somewhere, let me get past that. Oh. There's the box for the blades. Um, so, wow. Well. But yeah, this is actually my third Hunter Original. My other two are upstairs. Um, I've got a mid 80s R&M original and I've got and my second Hunter original I'm not sure my second Hunter original I don't know how old that one is but I got one from the mid 80s and I got one from the early 80s and I'm not sure how old the other one was but the switch, the reverse switch was located on on the other one, the reverse switch is located the R and M. The switch was located at the um at the top of the motor. And the other one, the second one, the switch housing was or the reverse switch was located on the switch housing. Can't seem to find a reverse switch on this one. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I'll try to get a video of my other two Hunter Originals eventually. So stay tuned for that. <laughs>